Hi everybody, RLB here. I'm going to do the Metamorphosis Millet Jelly Kit uh, from Crazy that I got in my Tokyo Treat August 2015 box for you. So here we go. Alright, three packets. So this is the first one. So move these out of the way. Ooh, pretty purple. Ooh, it smells like grape. I like it already. And these instructions are in Japanese, as you might have guessed. I'm just hoping that uh, I'm doing this right. I'm assuming you gotta um, stir all the powder, make sure it dissolves properly, so that's what I'm gonna do. This is strong smelling, but I like it. I'm sure I'll like it. So. All right, so we'll put that aside. And the next one says, the second packet goes in a different thing of water. And we mix that up. And this is yellow. This really doesn't have a smell to me. Very odd. So then we mix them together in the next step. Put the yellow stuff into the purple stuff. <laughs> okay. So take the purple stuff. <clears throat> and here we go. Ooh, oh boy. I hope this doesn't bubble over. <laughs> okay, I, I'm assuming I'm supposed to stir this? I don't know. I'll just stir it a little bit. It's very foamy. I like it. Oh yeah, it's turned definitely, uh, this is a science project for sure. This has definitely turned into a foam. I'm going to taste this now. Ooh, very nice. It's grapey something else. Hard to explain. Mmm. Okay. So this last little packet, I'll set this to the side. I'm gonna put it in here. We will add this to the cup and we pour this stuff in. Pour 10 milliliters of water. Okay. And I'll stir this. Definitely fruity flavor. I mean, I want to say grape, but I don't think it is. It's hard for me to distinguish the flavors. It's just the Japan fruitiness, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay, so then what you're supposed to do now is to take this stuff I just made and pour it on top of the pink foam. So, here we go. And it holds up. I thought it would pour right through, but it is not.
Now I have no clue if it says to refrigerate, but I'm pretty sure I would want this to be refrigerated. Let's just smooth it out over here maybe a little bit. So it covers the top. And then I think I want to refrigerate it so it will taste optimum. Okay, and I'll see you guys in a little while. And then we will try some. Okay, so we're here to eat our jelly. The problem is, is that I had left it in the fridge like I told you I was going to, but I went and did other things. So this has been in the fridge for three or four hours now. <laughs> and the top is kind of slimy. You kind of see. <laughs> and um, I don't know if you can see at the bottom here, it's kind of separated again. Uh, yeah, so this is not optimal, but I'm sure it still tastes good no matter what, so I'm going to try it right now. Whoops. Get some of the foam and some of the jelly, which is sliding off this spoon. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. That is tart. <laughs> wow. Mm. Very interesting. Mm. Oh my god. Oh, let's go down to the bottom here. Oh, oh the bottom's just liquid. Mm. Let's just try some of the top jelly. Mm hmm. Whoo! This is tart stuff. Mm. I like tart stuff. I do. And this is like tart grapes, I would say. But yeah, it's good. It's just, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to finish the whole thing because it's not, the consistent consistency is not my favorite thing. And maybe if I had eaten it right after I made it, I might have finished it off. But whoa, wait, it's tart. I mean, you'd really like, I like tart stuff and this is very tart. But anyways, it was a fun kit to make, very simple, so I recommend it just for that fact. So it's called Henshin Jelly by Crazy. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.